We are here once again. What's up guys, it's Zach here and today I'm bringing you guys week 12 of NFL predictions. We've stopped doing the weekly live stream between me, Jar, and Mikey because Mikey has went into the military. So everyone will get a big W for Mikey in the comment section below. Anyways, let's get right into it. Alright, so starting off we have the first Thanksgiving Day game tomorrow at 12.30 between the Buffalo Bills and Detroit Lions. I think this is going to be a sneaky good game between two teams that arguably could be uh, battling for playoff spots. <laughs> I know the Lions are 4-6, and six, but they are on a three-game win streak, and it could, could get kind of tough for the Lions, even though the Bills literally just played here last week. But I am going to give the edge to the Buffalo Bills in this one. All right, and on the second Thanksgiving Day game today, we got the New York Giants going up against the Dallas Mavericks. Both teams are 7-3. and three. The Giants are coming off of a rough loss against the Lions, coincidentally. And the Dallas Cowboys coming off an unbelievably massive win over my Minnesota Vikings. This game is being played in Dallas, and I do believe that the Cowboys have a really good shot of winning this game. But you know how it is. The Cowboys have lost the last three games that they played on Thanksgiving. So I am going to take the New Jersey Giants in this one in a close game, close low-scoring game. I believe the Giants will win somewhere around like 21-17. to 17. All right, in the final game that's going to be happening on Thanksgiving, we have the New England Patriots taking on my Minnesota Vikings. The Vikings coming off a really hard loss to the Dallas Cowboys, 40-3. to uh, This game is in prime time, so I'm a little bit nervous about the Kirk Cousins' point of view on this one. But I am going to take the Vikings to win this one. They'll have a good bounce-back game. They'll probably win around 24-10. to All right, and up next we have the first 1 p.m. game on Sunday between the Denver Broncos and the Carolina Panthers. Both teams are currently, I wouldn't say in tank mode, but they're both honestly just not that good of football teams. The Broncos releasing Melvin Gordon, who had around five fumbles on the year. Want to see me run to that mountain and back? You want to see me do it again? Uh, the Panthers, after losing CMC, still can't establish the run game. I and mean, then Foreman had that one amazing game against the Falcons. This is being played in Carolina, but I do believe the Denver Broncos will get the job done on the road. I mean, they should have the better team here. Russell Wilson will hopefully wake up eventually. All right, and up next we have the Atlanta Falcons taking on the Washington Commanders. The Commanders are red hot, winning five of their last six games. And the Atlanta Falcons are actually a half a game out from the division in the NFC South because it's being that's an absolute dumpster fire of the division so far. I am going to take the Washington Commanders in this one. Uh, Taylor Heineke has been looking unstoppable at home so far this season, and the Falcons they're going to eventually implode because Cordell Patterson can't do everything on his own. And up next we have the Cincinnati Bengals taking on the Tennessee Titans. This could have arguably been the game of the week. The Bengals are looking a little bit better on offense without Jamar Chase. We will be seeing if he's going to be back sometime in the next couple weeks. And then the Titans have just been the Derrick Henry show, and the defense has been playing well above average. I didn't think the Titans' defense would be this good this year. I am going to take the red-hot offense in the Cincinnati Bengals. I do believe they'll get the job done on the road. All right, in our next 1 o'clock game, we have the Chicago Bears taking on the New York Jets. The Bears' offense has been looking absolutely unstoppable this past three, four weeks, I believe. Uh, Justin Fields is having uh, problems with his shoulder right now, so we're going to see how serious that injury ends up being. The New York Jets are taking a different approach on quarterback as they are benching Zach Wilson this week in place of Mike White. And honestly, just that quarterback change alone, I do believe the Jets will get the win over the Bears. Zach Wilson has been like historically bad so far this season. I think a change of scenery at quarterback is exactly what the Jets need, especially if they can keep the run game going. All right, in the next game, guys, between the Tampa Bay Brady Nears taking on the Cleveland Browns. The Browns, this is their last game as Jacoby Brissett as starter, as Deshaun Watson will be making his return next week against the Texans, his former team. Do you smell it? That smell. What kind of smell? Oh, the Buccaneers have been looking solid the past couple weeks. They're coming out of a bye week. I like how this matchup predictor thinks this is going to be uh, somewhat of a close game, and it might be. I don't know. I might eat my own words on this one. But I do believe the Buccaneers have the better team. They definitely have the better offense as of right now. I believe the Buccaneers win. This would probably be a low-scoring game, probably like 17-10. to 10. 
All right, and up next, we have the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Lamar Jackson is in a contract year, and he is going to get paid this offseason. Mark my words on that. And the Jaguars have been looking ab above average, at least offensively, between Trevor Lawrence and Travis Etienne. Uh, the defense is still not coming together for the Jaguars. It's kind of a reason why they're still 3-7. and seven. I do have the Ravens winning this one in a relatively easy game. Um, they're just not going to be able to contain Lamar Jackson, and that's going to be the ball game. All right, up next, we have our easy game pick of the week between the Houston Texans and the Miami Dolphins. The Dolphins' offense is looking unstoppable. Bradley Chubb is a really good addition on defense, and that defense will start clicking. This is more or less the tank for the Houston Texans. The Dolphins are easily going to get this job done. The Texans might not even score 10 points for the rest of the season, honestly. The Texans will have the number one pick in the upcoming draft, and maybe they'll be able to build around Damian Pierce. All right, and now we move on to our first 4 o'clock game on Sunday between the Los Angeles Chargers and the Arizona Cardinals. I'm not sure what this matchup predictor is thinking right here. Stay off the weed. I do believe the Chargers will get this win. So up next, we have the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the Seattle Seahawks. The Raiders have been struggling so far this year between Derek Carr, who wears too much eyeliner, Devontae Adams, and then the defense, you know. It's the Raiders defense we're talking about here. And then we have the overachieving Seattle Seahawks. I did believe the Seahawks would be a bottom three team in the NFL this upcoming season. But I've been proven wrong so many times this year. I, I, it's going to be a train wreck when we go to react to my preseason rankings. I do have the Seahawks taking this one at home. All right, so up next we have the New Orleans Saints taking on the San Francisco 49ers. The 49ers have been looking unstoppable since adding Christian McCaffrey to their roster. The defense is getting healthy at the right time. And then it's just going against the Saints offense that have been struggling, even though Andy Dalton looked like Jesus himself last week. Be <laughs> Whoopsie. No, behold. I do have the Niners winning this one relatively easily, especially if their offense can click like it did last week. All right, so up next we have the Los Angeles Rams and the Kansas City Chiefs. I remember looking at this game when it we first got into the regular season, and I thought it was going to be a potential Super Bowl matchup. But the Rams are having the worst case of the Super Bowl hangover that I've seen. This one's going to be a no-brainer. It's being played in Arrowhead, arguably the hardest place to play in the NFL. I had the Chiefs winning this one relatively easily. All right, up next, we have the Sunday night football game between the Green Bay Packers and the Philadelphia Eagles. The Eagles are coming off a really shaky win against the Annapolis Colts. I was in Indy last week. And then the Packers, I mean, the past two weeks, they've been looking a little bit better with uh, a close loss to Tennessee last week, and then they beat Dallas the week before. I do believe the Eagles get this one done at home. This is the end of the Aaron Rodgers era, and as a Vikings fan, I am extremely happy about that. And finally, we had the Monday night football game between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Annapolis Colts. Who thought this is a good idea to put this on Monday night football? Solitude in E minor. Yeah, E minor, all right, yeah! <sighs> the Steelers are coming off an interesting loss to the Bengals. Najee Harris actually showed up for the first time this year. And then the Indianapolis Colts with a heartbreaking loss to the Eagles last week. I do have the Steelers getting this one done on the road. I watched the Colts at home and it doesn't look like Matt Ryan knows what he's doing out there. And that is going to do it for my week 12 NFL predictions. If you guys did enjoy, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to me to the channel. We are on the road to 800 subscribers. I appreciate all the love and support recently. And until next time, it's been your boy Zach. Peace.